the 2021 Lane Flix October Horror Fest. What's going on, guys? It's uh, Kirk from Lane Flix Media. Tonight, we're doing uh, our next feature of the Lane Flix Horror Fest 2021. Um, tonight, we're doing Evil Dead 2. And tonight I have Tommy J with me yo, doing yo. the movie. Um, and Tommy and I have watched the first Evil Dead a couple of times. Probably three or four times yeah. together, yeah. Um, and I know like you love that movie, but I don't think you had seen this one yet, right? Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. And, and we have a really interesting history with Evil Dead because Tommy had seen the show before he watched any of the movies, so he had like... An understanding of the story. It's a very before. strange way to come into it. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of cool though. I like that. It's cool that you had a different perspective. But so we watched the first one like years ago, and we actually did a video on it. And I might even put clips of it in like the the new Evil Dead one just to like okay, cool, have man. some little retro like a little yeah throwback. Yeah, because it was like it was before like it was on a shitty like DV cam and. Sh- but yeah, so we have background from the first movie. I've watched all of them, like, I don't know how many times, but Jay uh, just watched this new one, and yeah, so what did you think before we get into the, like, meat and potatoes? Um, I mean, of course, the ending is, because we just got done with the ending, it's yeah. definitely pretty crazy. Like, after seeing the first one, it's just, like, not normal, but, you know, more normal, and then the ending is, like, some in-game type shit. It's, yeah, like, yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's... So, like, because I remember in the first one, you would always mention that your favorite, like, not your favorite, but the, like, one of the standout parts to you was the pencil to the, the pencil ankle. The pencil to the ankle, yeah. Was there any moment in this that was like that to you, that you remember? Um, it was this striking, like... I think just the hand, like, all, like, the scenes all with the, the hand attacking Ash, mm-hmm. like, like, on, like, when it was attached to him and detached, they're pretty, pretty gruesome, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, for me... Something about when the blood turns black. Okay. That, like, it's something about that. I think it's just because I had, like, a really gross experience with a dead animal, like, within the last year that... Ah, like, uh, the... Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, I, I think I just relate to it too hard, so... Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you experience it in 4D. I'm experiencing it in 3D Shit, still. dude, yeah. But, um, so... I this is commonly like held as the best Evil Dead movie. I don't know if I can. Uh, they're all like so different. Um, the first one is more just like a horror movie, right? Big time. And this this one's more like comedy, and then like a little bit more like abstract at parts. This one does get closer to the show, also like it's mm-hmm. closer to the show. You know how Ash acts. It's the, well, I guess I guess because the comedy aspect is bigger in this movie. But. It that's that's kind of what I meant. Like I didn't really mean when I said the Army of Darkness like bridges it more. I'm, I really just meant like as like Ash's character, he becomes more heroic um, by the you know the movie. Even though he still has like a devil may care type of attitude, he's more like. Because, I mean, it, it just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just because, like, in the first movie, it seems like shit was just kind of happening to him, you know, mm-hmm. and he couldn't control it, he's, like, experiencing it. Right. And in this movie, he's actually taking control, like, fighting and everything, but he, he's still not in control, but, yeah. He's he's more, like, he's taking more action. Taking more action, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah you're right. If you had to, like, rank these two, like, would this be better than the first one, or? Would it be better than the first? I mean, I guess... It's so hard to compare. Like, I think it's 1987. You watch the first one, like it was like you feel the way you do about it, like you like it and shit. And so I, I think two was a good movie, but it was more like I mean I, I know you remember me mentioning it felt like quicker, like a quicker mm-hmm. movie. Things were kind of happening faster. I think if I was to be like, oh, let's watch a good horror movie, I think I'd pick the first. So it's okay. just there's some shit in the first that's uh, something about the fact that it was so low budget. Yeah. And it, it adds this realism to it that even though it's so surreal because it's like it, it's done with on such a tight budget that it feels grounded like it's so hard to explain but and I remember going into the first one you're watching it at first and it's kind of like okay it's like this typical story of these teens that go out into the woods right. and some creepy shit happens but it 
It's actually a really good movie. Yeah, yeah it turns I, out to be pretty crazy. The Evil Dead is awesome, dude. So anyway, yeah, I would recommend all of the Evil Dead movies and the show. Um, I haven't completed the show, but I started the first season. It's fantastic. Let's get into the plot. Um, so the very beginning, um, they recreate the first movie. Yeah, they like um, yeah. In a, it's like a montage type. Exactly. Movie. Yeah, and and like you said, it's a lot quicker and more like cut down and it's just him and Linda it's not like the other friends with them right so it's it's different it's definitely different gets the beats of the first movie so yeah if you just go into Evil Dead 2 you're not like gonna miss a whole lot as far as plot goes and uh one of the first notes I have here is like it's funny whenever they're standing there and Ash is like how about some champagne maybe because it's all corny with it yeah because uh it's just so in line with Sam Raimi's comedy and the way he is. Like, if you watch interviews and any type of, like, uh, just behind-the-scenes stuff, they're always goofing off and, like, yeah, they just have that, like, energy to them that, like, uh, I don't know how to just... Like, it's like a Three Stooges energy, you know? Just anything for a laugh. They start with the, like, tracking shot, the Evil Dead tracking yeah. shots. And we, uh, we both... Or no, like big know. fans of those, oh, yeah. and I just pointed out that it's so cool that it's so genius that Raimi made the camera almost like its own character. It you is. know, and the fact that you are looking through its eyes oh, yeah. is like creepy enough. You yeah, know? It, yeah. It, it has that like chaotic energy to it for sure. Yeah, it's not, it's weird. Like the sound that they play is almost yeah, like that like yeah, that, like droning yeah sound. Yeah, and especially the moment, I'm going to talk about it in a minute, but the moment where uh, he's like, it sounds like spirits trying to force their way into all uh, the world. That was like yeah. straight out of Twin Peaks. Like, yeah. Weird. I think we're just like, I, think I me at least, I think I'm just like over-connecting shit because I've been watching <laughs> Twin Peaks so much, so, you know? Everything's Twin Peaks. Yeah. Ash is really Truman. You remember like when we did our David Lynch marathon last year and we were like, this is like David Lynch, yeah. this, this is like Lost Highway, this is like Wall of Life. Literally you know, like, everything. Yeah, we were connecting everything. Yeah, so then we're introduced to Annie and Guy and like I don't even remember his name and he's a pretty disposable character. Like, yeah. He's like that character he's the blonde haired like surfer boyfriend pretty much I mean he's a little bit preppier than just a surfer but um he ends up just turning into a zombie and honestly he's more interesting as a dead eye than yeah, as a fucking person as a person pretty pathetic <laughs> um but then Annie like she's introduced as a pretty generic character and she's like the daughter of the researcher guy and all yeah. that and it's like okay but then she ends up being pretty cool um yeah I forgot, like, she has a little bit more depth than just, like, girl. And yeah, than just, like, pretty girl. Chick, yeah. yeah. We noted that the severed head biting uh, Ash's hand was, Jesus, like, was pretty realistic. gut-wrenching. Yeah. yeah, it was like, holy shit, because, like, whenever he was, like, crawling on, on the ground with it, it was, like, hanging off his hand. Yes. He was having to, like, hold it. It really looked like he was in pain. Like, yes. Yeah. And he, I, was, I was just, like, the amount of time he had that thing on there, like, munching on his hand. <sighs> holy shit. Bro, like, it's no wonder his hand went, like, super evil. Yeah. She gave him the COVID. Yep. And then... <laughs> We're, we're gonna have the vaccine information bubble pack part like pop up <laughs> under the YouTube video. Yeah, the the warning. The yeah, CDC. Uh, it's cool here too. We have the uh, the mirror sequence. Uh, uh, it's yeah. a lot like the first one, it, like when it, how it starts, but then it turns totally different. Like you think it's gonna be like the first one. Remember, I was like. Hey, remember the first one? It's all watery and da da da. And you're like, yeah. And then, then, it, then, then this this one, like the reflection reaches out, and, like chokes him. Chokes him. <laughs> and it's oh, it's so cool. And then dude. it turns out to be him choking himself type thing. It's yeah, like, oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's that was like a very, trippy shot. Yeah. And there's the evil Ash in the mirror, and it's not really evil Ash because there's an evil Ash that's a character in the third one. Really. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I don't really... Like, I don't want to tell you more because I want you to watch well, it. Well, so, it, it, that's funny because... So, in the show, his hand, I believe, starts off as just a hand, but it grows itself and becomes, like, an evil Ash. Also. Really? Yeah, it's weird. Okay. And Ash that's has cool, to, like, kill dude. it. Yeah, that's really crazy. And, yeah, bro, the hand, the whole giving back my hand, that's just classic Evil Dead. Like, that's... That's... Yeah. Um, 
And then here we get the redneck characters whenever um, Annie and the guy, they get up to the bridge. And yeah. You're not going to cross this bridge. Why not? Why and not? And he shows it's all like torn up. Yeah. Shit. We get back to Ash uh, at the cabin and we get some like Three Stooges slapstick stuff with him like being thrown around the kitchen. Yeah. And then um, I just, I really love, like I don't know why, but I really love whatever it looks like the hand is the hand is like it knocks him out with the plate and then it like looks around for a second and then it like drags him across the floor the cleaver and I love that it. yeah and then I just giggled whenever Ash is like here's your new home and like puts the pan, the pot on top on of top his of head on top of the hand yeah the hand gets back out and drawn away from him and it flips uh, the bird to Ash and it's just like really like holy shit like Looney Tunes and finally when Ash gets him he's like gotcha you little sucker <laughs> And he's all, like, pissed off, and it's relatable, like, because everyone's, like, chased a bug or something that you're, like, finally I got this little bastard. And then, yeah, the blood turning to black I mentioned earlier is, like, really, really gross to me. That was, that was personal. Yeah. <laughs> I took that personally. <laughs> like, it was like Michael Jordan. Like Michael Jordan. Um, here we see Ash just, like, completely losing it when the whole house starts, like, laughing and, like... There's that weird, like, just frantic energy. Like, literally everything, everything that, is laughing. That, like the, the evil the, Disney energy. The deer, yeah. yeah. Like the deer has the white dead eye eyes, yes. and it's, like, flipping around and shit. And the lamp that starts laughing in particular, just, like, that laugh is hilarious. It's like a, it's like a droopy dog laugh or something. It's, like, the weirdest laugh you've ever yes, heard, but it it's is. really funny. Ash, too, losing it and just, like... Yeah, and, like, how... I love the transition from laughing to crying. Yeah. Because he has those, like, three screams where he's laughing, and he's like, ah, 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 yeah. and, like, it's just so great because, like, it's so iconic, you know? It's so, it's so evil dead. And then, yeah, Bobby Joe, or Bobby Ann, or whatever. Bobby Joe, yeah. Bobby Joe. She gets shot by Ash on accident after he's, like, it gets super, super quiet. He's looking around, and then he hears some outside the door, and he like blam blam. Yeah, like, he empties God the barrels it. pretty quick. Yeah, this is a horror movie. Yeah, oh yeah. So then we get uh, the tape recording, and it's a really haunting narration of the events before, like Ash and Linda got to the cabin. Just the doctor talking about like him and uh, Annie's mom. Like it, th that's her parents, right? Um, and just like all the terrible shit they had to go through. Um, and then, yeah, Henrietta, the mom in the basement, is, like, fucking chilling. Yeah. And, and it's really, like, cool because he starts talking about her. He's like, I had to lock her in the basement. I couldn't bring myself to kill her, you know? And then this is when she, like, pops out of the ground. Out of the ground. And Ash is like, oh, my God, like, freaking out. It's awesome. Um, and then, yeah, so then Ash is, like, rushing to get out. And they let, start to let him out. And then the Henrietta gets a hold of the guy, the redneck dude. And, like throws him, or no, the hold of the blonde hair guy, and like throws him, and yeah, she has like superhuman strength, and then they close the door on her head, and then her eye pops out into uh, the girl's mouth, and she like runs away. It's really gross. Uh, um, it's really, I, I like, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, you ever seen the movie where the eye flies out into the girl's mouth? Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's like one what? of those things. Yeah, I just the editing. This movie is far more creative and like slick than I remember it being. I didn't remember it being so like on point. Like it's very like that very intentional. Team. Yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> just the way like for instance, I, I mentioned it to you, like the part where he's he made a fire and he's like throwing firewood. Uh, and yeah. it cuts from like a shot to the house into the into the house and then Ash has the firewood like right in front of the camera and then he throws it into the fire, but it's just a cool like transition. Ash starts talking about what's going on, and he says something, uh, something that's come back from the dead. And just the way Campbell like delivers the line is perfect. It's he he can deliver lines that like create the story, but he also can do the funny stuff. Yes. And it's just so awesome he can go back and forth like that. And then we get the Henrietta, the mom, scene to try to win Annie's trust back. The little uh, mom is gonna buy you. A, Mockingbird, or whatever the fuck. Um, and then the blonde haired dude pops up and he's possessed. Yeah. And that's probably my favorite, like, design of a demon in this movie. Just be like, as far as, like, a humanoid demon, I think my favorite's the one at the end that's just, like, a huge face in the oh, wall. Okay. 
but the I love the design of him and like I love how he like flies in the air and is like doing a weird dance and shit. Like I love that. That's so, did you ever watch uh, Drag Me to Hell? Did you ever yes, watch I did, that? Actually, yeah. Okay, you remember the demon, the weird like gypsy demon, and that was like that too. He was like dancing oh, in yeah, the air no, and weird, shit. Yeah. And that, like that's yeah. Sam. That's Sam Raimi. I told you that. Oh no way! Yeah, that's that's the that's that the makes man. sense. It actually seemed yeah that makes it's sense. very evil. Dead. It's very like evil she dead, pukes yeah. the cockroaches on yeah. her. And, like it's super evil. Dead. That's crazy. Drag me to hell. Is, we gotta do that at some point. Too. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm down. That's the one with like the yeah. subway and everything, right? And she gets, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's like a real estate agent. Yeah. And, yeah, and the gypsy lady, like. Gypsy's she, she not comes, offensive. If you get mad about gypsy, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. She comes in, like, coughing up blood and shit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, dude. Did yeah. we watch that together? Maybe we didn't. We might have, Maybe. honestly. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. I feel like if we watched it, I would have told you it was the Evil Dead guy, though. Okay, yeah, right you definitely right would have told me that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then here we get the original title of the movie, Dead by Dawn. They start chanting Dead by Dawn. That's originally what this was going to be called before. They were just like, fuck it, call it Evil Dead 2. Okay. Yeah, um, they have, like, mad title changes. Yeah, <laughs> they have, like, really <laughs> ambitious, cool titles. Yeah. Like, Evil Dead, Dead by Dawn, Medieval Dead. Medieval Dead. Dead you know, like, Army of Darkness, like I said, it's not a bad title. It's not bad, but it's a movie, little... But it's like you said, it's a Hollywood yeah, title. Yeah, it's, it's very Hollywood. In this specific scene, when Ash starts cutting him up, we get green slime instead of like traditional blood, which is kind of cool. It's a cool like ah uh, yeah yeah we, yeah. The like it almost looks like the like glow stick liquid, you know, it was really gross looking. The trail they came in on like disappeared. Yeah, and which is like a really creepy idea that the woods, the woods themselves are haunted. It's yeah. not just like spirits. Like the environment is haunted. That's yeah, scary. it's yeah. yeah it's, Pretty chill. Remember the scene where the, the tree like uproots itself, like yeah. the spider, like yeah, it's yeah, creepy. dude. Well, like it's just so cool. There's a lot of like miniature stuff in this where it's it's mini trees, but because of the way they shoot it, it looks it looks pretty good. Oh like, wow, it, I didn't even know yeah, like the shots that they kept showing where the trees were kind of rumbling at right. like, the very first time they show them. Right, they're mini, they're small trees. Yeah, wow, that's it. awesome. Uh, and then here the clock just like stops. Remember. And then, like, it gets super quiet, and everyone's like, I think they even say it's like really quiet. And the the sound and editing right here is like really anxious and terrifying. Yes. And this is where I was talking about where the just like the weird ambient sounds keep coming in and out. And he's like, they're like, what is that? And he's like, it's a spirit trying to force its way into our world. Yeah. And then yeah, I just love this shot where uh, Annie and Bruce, uh, I'm sorry, Annie and Ash are frantically looking around in like literally every direction but the camera, but the you camera. know, to to just give the effect of like, where is this gonna come from, you know? But it has a really fun feel to it too. Like it, you almost get the feeling that they're gonna start laughing at some point, you know? So it's it's fun. They're not movies to watch to get scared, really. They're movies to just be entertained. Yeah, you know, be, yeah, anything. yeah, for sure. And then, yeah, the soul of Annie's father pops up. Yeah. And that was really creepy. It was, like, very, like... Star Wars type. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. well, I was thinking more, like... I mean, yes, but I was also thinking... Uh, old, old, like... Like the little Pazuzu face that pops up in The Exorcist. Oh, okay. Or, like, even older... Um, the Carnival of Souls, there's like a weird white faced guy that pops up and is really creepy, so yeah. Um, and he just kind of tells them, like, hey, you need to get the book to do this thing, yeah. you know, and because I guess they're all just, it's just so like silly because they can't put that together until the ghost shows up and tells them, you yeah, know, which is like okay, hey, um, still, yeah, I mean, it's a cool way to like give the expedition, so um. Father, you need those pages, all right? I'm out of here. I'm a ghost. Save my soul. Save my soul. But, uh, so here we have Bobby Joe, like, running out of the woods. And this, uh, we'll call it vine harassment scene <laughs> is toned down and up in a way. Because there's no uh, rape. Yeah. So, like, you know, that's toned down. But then they still it's just... Kinda... I mean, yeah, they get weird. They get a little it, weird, but yeah, yeah, but it's not. not, like, not a, it's, it's not nowhere rape. near as exploitative as the first one. Yeah, like, it's it's pretty like brash in the first one. Yeah, it's just cool. Like the choreography and the set design here is just way bigger and grander, and I like that that it has a little bit more of a budget. It, you know, it has, it's a little bit more exciting, right? Because she gets dragged through that whole like scene of the woods and Violently. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's not just like drag. Like she gets like ripped. Through yeah. There. Yeah. And then this great edit is she's getting killed right to the uh, the glass casing of the book getting broken. I love that how it edits right to that. It's like slow mo. Um, and they shatter it and they get the pages, the pages out. out. Yeah. yeah. And then this is, I think, not the first time we see Evil Ash, but the first time he's around the other people. And, he turns um, into... and this is where he's like, join us, yeah. and Annie, oh, and he has like a weird deep voice and the white eyes, and like the extra cheekbones yeah. and all that. It looks really like screwed like up. Like thriller. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right, yeah. It gets dead silent to enhance whenever like stuff happens, you know, and I like that. Like it literally gets dead silent, like nothing in the sound is going on. Yeah. yeah. And he guts the redneck guy on accident. And then she pulls the guy in as Evil Ash is like trying to come up to the door. She pulls the guy into the other room and uh, she doesn't realize she puts him like right next to the cellar door. And then yeah, the mom like rip like pulls him in and there's this, this fountain of blood that blood. comes out and like covers her. It's great. And then the sound design of the gurgling blood is just like sickening. Like it's like this like it's like when you hear like a toilet backup yeah. or something. It's just so gross. They're good. They're good at like freaking you out. Like, oh yeah. You out. I don't yes, know. for sure. Here we get some of the most iconic stuff in Evil Dead history. Uh, the chainsaw arm building montage. You were like, damn, this yeah. is. You even said like this is a great montage. Yeah, it, it really was. Like, it, it's it's cool, like quick editing and just little like action shots and stuff. It's really little cool. weird sounds going on. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the iconic pull string helper thing on his chest. Yeah. And then obviously the timeless groovy line is, you know, that's in like everything Evil Dead. Groovy. This is the first time a straight up skeleton is thrown into Ash after he goes into like the the basement where all the plumbing is and stuff. Because uh, it's a tease for Army of Darkness. In Army of Darkness, the third one, there's like a whole scene where Sam Raimi's just off camera like throwing skeletons at him. Oh man. And so he's like fighting skeletons and like knocking them to pieces and to get the pages. He throws them up to her out of the cellar. And uh, this is where he literally just hacks Henrietta to pieces. You know, he's like flinging the chainsaw around. You just see like her arms flying in every different direction. And uh, this is where she turns into that weird, like, lizard monster. You said she looks like Dementity. Yeah, kinda, like, like, long as hell, yeah. Yeah, and she's like, I saw your soul, I saw your soul. And he's like, swallow this. And he blows her head off. It's great. And then, yeah, he gets his white streak of hair right here, which I don't think... He gets, like, a little bit of, like, uh, Mr. Fantastic hair yeah. in the Army of Darkness. And then, obviously, in the show, he's older, so he ha I think he has a little bit of gray in that. Does um, he? I think... Because he's older. I can't remember. Right? He's definitely older, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, this is where he stabs the, like, demon eye that's, like, in the face yeah. on the wall. It's really cool. <laughs> it's really, like, deep purple blood, just, like, gorges of it come out. And it's he's, really like, gross. covered in it, yeah. Yeah, and then this weird, like, portal thing is right outside the house, and it's, like, floating around. And he's like, ah, oh, like, when will it stop? Like, when will I, you know, have a normal life again? And then... He's just literally dropped right into medieval times with his car. And then, yeah, the knights show up and they're like, oh, he could be a deadite. We should kill him. He's about to get stabbed. An actual deadite, a winged deadite, yeah. just like flies at them and he's like, Pow, and blows its head off. And that's a great, uh, like, head exploding effect. And yeah, they all cheer for him and he's just like, no, no. no. I'm, a, I'm a YouTuber. I have to mention that uh, I know that. The third movie was supposed to be titled uh, Medieval Dead because no one knows that. No one knows that at all. So yeah, this is this is a Lane Flicks exclusive. <laughs> you have a favorite part? You have a part that's like because I know we talked about like one of the the creepy, yeah, yeah like most visceral part. Spots. But yeah, like if you're like, damn, that's my favorite um, part of this I, movie. I, like I said, like I mentioned at the beginning, I think the end of it just because it's mm -hmm. so like. I did not expect that because I like I knew army of I knew about the army of darkness but I didn't know it was like you medieval would, yeah and I didn't know it led into it like that so yeah okay. I said the ending just because it caught me up far yeah I don't do I need to ask favorite character like Ash nah, right? yeah <laughs> of course, of course. yeah let us know what you guys think of Evil Dead too because I'm on the fence about it being like the best one it's definitely like necessary yeah. like, you have to see this to know Evil Dead this is pretty much like the soul like turning point of like when it became bigger than just a couple movies you know 
Um, it's important. It's definitely important in the history of horror because the Evil Dead franchise was big about like being anti-censorship and okay. there was like a whole debacle in Britain about like banning the video the, what they called the video nasties which were like movies like Evil Dead okay who was another person to say that your art isn't art you know what I mean right well I mean who yeah who who is someone to say like oh your art's too provocative, too provocative like yeah. what yeah you don't understand art, dude. Yeah. I'm so happy that we're able to watch it. We live in a country where we're able to watch whatever we want, whenever we want. So thanks for watching Evil Dead 2 with me, bro. Always. Really appreciate it. Always. Really appreciate you guys listening. Um, I'm not sure which movie this is in my sequence of movies. We're doing these all out of order. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so next movie, I'm going to do these in order at least. So next movie is going to be Army of Darkness. Uh, Tommy's welcome back for that if he wants to. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a great night, and we'll see you next time.